Okay, TCT. Beautiful, beautiful chat. Let's take a look at Bitcoin right here on the charts, on the ones and twos. What do I see happening for Bitcoin? Well, I've been bullish on Bitcoin ever since it was in a bit of a pennant like so. Now I'm straightening it up, getting it a little more chintzier. And I like what I'm seeing here for Bitcoin. And I've been stuck on this idea. And st- I haven't really changed my position. Still in the Bitcoin trade. And, you know, I'm just going on the probability. All I do is draw pennants, draw poles, and play them. If they hit what they're supposed to hit, they do. If they don't, they hit my stop loss. And I try to find the ones that have a 68% chance, which this does. This says 68% of the time, I'm going to give you some money. So if I show up here 68% of the time, I'm going to get paid. If I do this 10,000 times in my life, I should make 6,800 trades correctly. If I do this 100,000 times in my life, I should make 68,000 trades correctly. If I do this a million times, I should make 680,000 correct trades. If you win 680,000 correct trades, but you lose 320,000, You'll be a very profitable trader. Mind you, I would tell you that. I tell you that. Thank you, love. Thank you for the 119 likes and good karma likes. 180 people watching. Just one click will help the lifer community. One, haha. What's that whole new meaning to getting wrecked? Shout out to everybody on the live stream for the Tokyo sex waddle up in the game. Appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, Come to Marabella, Spain. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. We throw in dollar bills on the stage. Let's go. Lord Vero even. Appreciate each and every one of you for super chatting me. There's the $20 super chat from Mr. Smurfington. You're the man, dude. Sammy Cup at handy. Let's take a look at LYXE for my dude. Tokyo, Tokyo Sex Wheel. Always representing. Always coming through strong. Appreciate you so much. XYO, please, from Alex. You. Nice, nice, nice. And what I'll do is I'll have a super chat window and a Bitcoin window and I'll do, or a show window. The show is kind of what I do is Bitcoin total to dominance. But right now, the one hour is pushing to the upside. The four hour is kind of curling and it's looking like it's doing that that dance. And when I mean that dance, I mean it's doing that that flip, baby. It's doing that flip, baby. Doing that. I want to I want to kind of kind of flip up a little bit for you there. And there's my target, 16 percent. And you know, what's funny is I've done this like 17 times and we've hit like 14 of the 17 times. We've hit the target. So we're just continuously hitting the target. This will be the 17th. This will be the 18th trade. If I hit it, we'll be 15 for 18 trading Bitcoin. So let's see. Will it hit my stop loss? Down. And look at my stop loss. I mean, for me to lose this trade, Bitcoin's got to go to 58,960. Right? That's not, I mean, we have a lot of support now. So we'll take a look at the VPVR. What does the VPVR say on the four hour? I'm just curious. I don't. I honestly don't know how accurate of a trader, you know, it shows you where those orders are, but the orders could change. They really can. But it's cool. Some people live and die by it. I don't. So the VPR says you got supported 57,458. So we could come down there. That's what it's telling you, you know? And if we did, it would be fine. That's the previous resistance kind of drop area. This is a zone, okay? And there's another area there at 51. When you move it around, it changes too. That's another thing, like... Now there, it says you got a lot of buy orders there, though, at 61,500, which, so there's like, that's very interesting, too. So you have some resistance right there. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, but we get above that, we're flying. So, the VPVR, the visible range, showing you where the buys and sell orders are at a certain place in price action. Can come in handy every once in a while. Bro, sup, you are the most accurate trader on the internet. Shout out to Fidel Escobar. Thinking I'm going to sell 62 to 63. Thank you so much, Fidel. I appreciate you, man. Much respect. You deserve a damn medal, bro. Did you already talk about blocks today? No, we have not looked at blocks. Start up to Steve Vols for the 499. Thank you so much for the super chat from Steve for the 499. Let's take a look at XYO from Alex U. We already went over OR systems. Don't sleep on this OR systems that we went over. This thing looks pretty hot. And I'm going to put it down on my radar and write it down as well so I have it. Let me actually go... Shout out to Kristen Withers for the Patreon just joining at 1029. Kristen, you did the right thing. Shout out to Thousand just jumping in later on. And shout out to Philip Ott. A bunch of people jumping on into the Patreon today. Thank you so much for being a part of the live stream. If you are here, thank you for being a patron. Appreciate each and every one of you for jumping on in. And thank you for being a part of the live stream. So let's take a look at this. Bitcoin, 16%, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is my idea here for BTC. Let's take a look at what the 15 minute looks like. 15 minute is scooping scoop a loop and what does that mean it just really is like it's coming to that bottom and it just it's doing it look at this also when i look at this really fully just break it down for what it is and, and, and don't try to make it don't candy coat your order is what i'm saying 
Don't make it something that it's not. That's an inverted head and shoulder that wants to break to the upside, is it not? And that breaks out 68% of the time. So just do what the do what it does, maybe. And honestly, this is a breakout, and now it's breaking, it's bouncing off the neckline for a re that's that's a retest. In my humble opinion, Bitcoin is now retesting off the top trend line. Possible, I call it a possible retest because anything is possible. But I've seen this play out, and you know, we're an inverted head and shoulder, we broke on out. There's a possible retest there for Bitcoin when you zoom in on that and really take a look at it. And that's the problem. A lot of times you really got to look at things in a way. And look, it's also green candling off the zone. This is a possible retest here for Bitcoin. I'm going to put a call out on this and throw this to the patrons in case anyone can't make it to the stream. But this is interesting. So we have the inverted head and shoulder here on the 15 minute, right? Who sees that in who here has played an inverted head and shoulder and made money? Put a put a I put a there put a I if you've made money playing the inverted head and shoulder in your lifetime. Shout out to everyone here on the live. Thank you for coming on in. We'll take a look at XYU in a second. Thank you for jumping on into the live stream. We'll take a look at L Y X E as well on KuCoin. On KuCoin, my friends. KuCoin. KuCoin. Shout out to everyone here on the live. Appreciate each and every one of you. The education is crazy. Shout out to Akasha. Cofield, thank you so much. I appreciate you, Akasha. Such a beautiful name. Akasha. Shout out to Spinny. That's a beautiful name, too. My man, Stevie Spins. Spinning it on the ones and twos every single night here. Love you, Spinny. Thank you for coming on in, man. May God bless you and yours, Spinny. May God bless you and yours. And may the, law, the light of the Lord bless you always. I know you were protected. And with the word and with the word goes you, my friend. I love you. Thank you very much. Luna, please. LYXE is four hour entry in daily time frame, but looking extra spicy. Changed their life today. They did. Welcome the new lifers. Shout out to all the new lifers who jumped on in. So that's a possible retest right there. And remember, I will never contact you on Patreon. Also, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I do and say on this channel here is financial advice. Please get yourself a financial advisor and do your own due diligence before getting into any trade, okay? Project even, all right? And we're going to talk about Pulse Doge in a second. We're going to see what's happening with it. I just sold it. I did have a pretty big bag. I wonder if I implemented anything on that channel, but it has a very small market cap. I think it was very foolish of me to sell that. I think I should have held on to it for a longer time. Something tells me I just gave up on 100K. But we'll, go, we'll, we'll see one day. We'll see. But something, my instincts are telling me, eh. But I took profits. You're never poor when you take profits. We'll see if it comes on down and I'll, t I'll buy a bag back. We'll see what happens. I got to take a look. I, I got like, I'm so excited today. We'll get it, but we got to get into Bitcoin first, right? That's most important. But this could be a possible retest here. Bitcoin battling the zone. So look at this. Support and resistance. We're battling the zone here. If Bitcoin can get off of like 60, 80, 6,000, 60,000, and battle back to 61K. And if you see a Bitcoin at like 61,400, not too long from now, then it's probably likely this was a retest off the top trend line. That did break out, retesting top trend line. If you can go to 61,500, it's on its way to break this little previous local high there at 61,430. We go to, you know, or it will break that previous high. And then we're on our way to the all time high, right? And then at least this, and then we need to break this. So, you know, all nothing's going to happen until we break this and this. So, all I said, Bitcoin, we break this line, then we break these two green lines. Then we talk about my target up there at 70,600. Okay. And we have bigger projections that I've gone over many, many, many times. You can follow me at Remote Chief here. This is my profile here at Remote Chief. Follow this profile at Remote Chief. I have a bunch of things posted already about Bitcoin. It's like a little Bitcoin museum. Jump on in there. A little Bitcoin NFT showing you what's going down, what happened, what could occur. I like them. There are a bunch of projections for Bitcoin to 110K and 120K and you can see my actual logic of why I think we're going to get there and things of that nature. And if we may never get it, we may crash to 10K. I want to say everyone straight in the face. Could we be, until we break the all-time high, we could still be in a bear market. It's possible. I'm open-minded to believe that is possible. Is it likely? I don't, you know, and I'm open-minded. Honestly, everyone tries to say they know what's happening. Are we in a bear or are we in a bull? Honestly, I'm in a market that's paying me. If it goes down, I'm shorting it. If it goes up, I'm longing it. I'm in a market that's paying me no matter what. I don't really care. I'm going to play it day in and day out, and I'm going to take my money. And I'm going to take my money. So it is what it is, right? And I'm not going to let the market take me. I'm going to take my money from the market. 
and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show y'all how to sell because selling is the hardest thing to do. Most people can jump into a trade. Many people can never sell themselves out. They find it impossible to get out of the trade. So unreal, unreal. Shout out to everyone here on the live. Appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thank you for calling yourself Crypto Lifers and being a part of the live stream. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. That's why I'm dedicated to you each and every day, and that's why I will never miss a day. I might have been a little late tonight, but we're here ready to go, and I'm pumped up. I'm feeling the energy. I'm liking it. There's a lot of coins to go over. There's a lot to talk about tonight, and I'm excited. We already found a new coin at the beginning of the stream. We just started. Someone jumped in and gave us our system, and I think we found some NFT gaming thing that could be actually be pretty hot. It looks pretty interesting to me. I think we hit something right on the head. You tell me. Put a one if you think or is very interesting. Who's going to do a deep dive on or? Put up, put put your hand up. Wave in the comments. Throw on an emoji. Say me, me, me. Who's going to do a deep dive on or for the team? Tell us what really goes on with that. I'll do my deep dive. You do yours. We'll see. We'll, and we'll just compare the information. Or. O-R-E, man. And I got some coins. We got LSS. We got Qubit. We got MetaHero. We got Cryo War. Inferno Pay. Equilibria. X-E-Q. Radix. XRD, right, at 1.2 billion market cap. Um, but then we even had ADAX, remember, at 55. Lightning, the Lightning Network at 55 was a multi-chain IDO with a $55 million market cap. Lightning Network. Let's take a look at the Lightning Network. The Lightning Network, a decentralized network using uh, scalable instant blockchain, Bitcoin blockchain transactions. Oh, no, this is different. Sorry. Lightning. No, this is like... Just put lightning. Oh, this thing took a dump, too, since we've talked about it. We talked about it seven days ago. Interesting. So look, it was 77 cents. It would pump to a buck and come all the way back down to 71 cents. Interesting. Could be in the sweet spot. The Lightning Network, $45 million market cap. It's dropped by a $10 million. That's pretty interesting. Lightning Protocol dot finance revolutionizing the pre-sale experience to deliver maximum value to investors and developers. Our mission is to create a thriving ecosystem to nurture exceptional value through blockchain development. As the first multi-chain incubator and launchpad, we created a single safe destination for both pre-sale investors and pre-launch projects. Investors benefit from exclusive access to safe, innovative projects, rewarding investments on every blockchain. I really like what this goes for and what they're talking about right off the bat. 60,090 if we hold. So all eyes on Bitcoin has to come down on the 15 minute. So we're just watching this 15 minute come on down, do its thing. And uh, yeah, but we're still bullish in the one hour. That's got legs. Four hour even has a little more room to go. And we have an inverted head and shoulder here that breaks up 68% of the time. Also, this falling wedge here breaks up 68% of the time. We could be doing a retest there on the top trend line. Those are some bullish signs for Bitcoin overall. What are the bearish signs for Bitcoin? Let me break them down. Let's break down the bearish signs for Bitcoin. So we're not all heebie-jeebie on one thing, okay? You can see we've been calling Bitcoin pumps since day one here. We called this pump here because we put it in this cup and handle, which we suggested we get all the way to 66,615. And I made this call somewhere down here on October, September 27th, September 28th. I was drawing these cup and handles literally since late in early September. Once they started kind of making this, I even projected the handle once we got up here on a cup. We've been looking at this for a long time. Also, shoulder, head and shoulder, something nobody else really talked about but me. I didn't see anyone really mention this shoulder, this giant inverted head and shoulder here. It's pretty crazy, right? One day I sat here and I looked and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Like that's an inverted head and shoulder that breaks to the upside. Is it not? That's a naughty, naughty head and shoulder, right? And so I was like, yeah, it is. And then you take your, you know, your swing up, right? And neckline and like, that's telling you you're breaking up. And like, these are just simple patterns. That's seventy-four thousand two hundred, three hundred dollar Bitcoin. Like these are just simple patterns. So this other kid saying we're breaking down. I get it. Anything is possible. I get it. I get it. But I just play patterns the way they're supposed to be played. Like, and that's what I'm talking about. People get into these fib lines and these fib circles, and they, I think they start doing like peyote each week, and I don't know what they're doing. Ayahuasca, 
And next thing you know, they know every single thing about Bitcoin and space and time. And and I get it. I'm like that too. Like, I get how people can look at me that way. But I'm like fundamental dude. Like, and I stick to the basics. Like, and my trading system is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. And after a while, like it is what it is. Like, and to me, that's a bull pennant that breaks out 68% of the time. And I pull at that, and that tells me we're going 108,000. And I'm not a moon boy. Like, I'm just showing you what we're doing here. You know, and and no one criticized me. You know, people will criticize me here and oh, he's a moon boy, right? But no one, you know, and and you know what? Honestly, it's funny because people criticize me here because go watch my live streams in 24th of May, April 2020, uh, June of 2020. Um, Go watch my live stream anywhere from basically like around December, November area and on. Okay. And if you see me during my, you know, my Bitcoin, you'll see me. I'm doing this. And I was doing this for a long time. And I just said, oh, that I means to me, I, and, you know, and I, it, it would really calm my nerves because at the end of the day, no one really knows what's going to happen. But I would draw this and I'd say to everybody, you know, it's a bull pennant and bull pennants break up to the break to the upside, you know, 98 percent of the time. So I was like, this this is highly likely that we get a bit of a pump here to the upside here, you know, and I said, Bitcoin goes to like 30, 30,000. And this is when we were down here. Like, I was like, oh, it looks like we're going to go, you know? And so I was doing these projections when we were here. Now you can replay this like back when I couldn't even, when I didn't know a thing, I was back here like this and you can go watch the live streams to prove it, which is amazing. That's why I love my live streams. Like the history of my trading career is all there for anybody to see. You can watch almost every single trade I made or thing that I talked about or coin that I said I'm going all in on or what, or the day I say I'm going all in, even to the titles of my videos. Like I said, I'm going all in on Bitcoin at 41K, 40K, and I did. And, you know, look at us up now, 50% on our Bitcoin bot. On every single time I put money, 1,000 here, 1,000. And I told everyone, DCA into BTC. And I said the market was looking dismal. There were some ups and downs. Then there was just like a few dump days where the, and then all the alts dumped again. And I said, you know, this is when I buy BTC. Now look at Bitcoin. It's at 61,900. I suggested that if it was at this place, right, that it would mean something. What? That it would be a retest off that trend line. Let's go look and zoom in on that retest again. And this is why you should be learning something here. What is a retest? All these different thing, parts of information. Oh, the light comes back on. Very weird comes right back on most common sense i've seen so far oh yeah i just read a tweet right when i'm looking at my phone like a like a momo momo just gonna bring the lighting down a little bit it looks like i'm a little uh out of touch there oh wait that's a little better Okay, so let's zoom back into my other Bitcoin chart. That was Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin on KuCoin. I'm going to go to Bitcoin on Binance. About, they're, about, they're pretty much exactly the same. I just switch back and forth because I like to do a bunch of work on different ones. And then I can kind of have like one idea on one one, a long idea on another. And, you know, here we're all talking about this 15 minute. And you have to think of where was I? What pocket are we talking about? Even that. And look, that's the retest, possible retest. And, you know, we bounced. Try to get that out to the subs here. Hold on. So we just called a possible retest based on a few different things, though. Inverted head and shoulder trend line bust about came back to the trend line we've seen that many times 61,000 will it hold we shall see a lot of people love to long the retest because it's like the safest place so around this area and then ride the trade to the to either the mid measure move or to a supporter resistance like there's some resistance there okay and that's all you know and then you just you can put your stop loss back in the pattern because if you break back in the pattern it's completely bearish and there's a three to one risk reward ratio, which is all you need. And then you can play BTC up for this and make 6%. And that's basically how, you know, how I take advantage of Bitcoin. Or you, you know, you lever trade, you do whatever you want. I don't push lever trading on anyone, not beginners at least, you know. 
Shout out to Steve Oaks for the 499. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for coming on in. Am I missing any super chats? Anyone send any super chat that I missed here? Let me make sure. And there's the webcams always coming in on us. So whack. 